Welcome to the Marvel Contest of Champions second annual Summoner Showdown, where summoners get to showcase their skills for the world to see. But this time, we have something for everyone. Let's get into it! Summoner Showdown has two options, the Show Up and the Showdown. In the Show Up, anyone can play by bringing your best five champion team in your four star roster to take down the boss. That's right, the original kings of the contest make a triumphant return to the forefront as four star champions are the keys you need to enter into these battles. Use your boosts and other consumables to push beyond your limits to secure the win. So what strategy and what synergy will you use to be victorious? Completion rewards are waiting for those who take on the task with 500,000 gold and 3,000 5-star shards per week, plus another 500,000 gold and 6,000 5-star shards for completing all three weeks. The showdown, however, will see our endgame players battle for the top spot. You've got to be level 60 and Cavalier, so jump in and complete Act 6 Chapter 1 if you haven't already. This quest also requires 4-star champions, and oh yeah, you can only bring one. This quest will decide the best of the best on an even playing field, so boosts are not allowed as they'll instantly disqualify your match from consideration. But worry not, if you fought boosted, just wait till it expires and try again. Also, scores will only be counted when the boss begins the fight with 100% health. So no reviving and jumping back in. Now. Each week we'll take in the top performances from each region to move into the semi-finals. Those regions are the Americas, Europe and Russia, and Asia and Oceania. Your performance will be judged on the following. The amount of hit points remaining on the boss when the fight concludes. The number of unblocked hits the attacker received throughout the fight. The total duration of the fight measured in minutes and seconds and damage per second, which is the total damage the attacker dealt to the boss divided by the duration of the fight in seconds. For more information on our scoring parameters, please check the link in the description. So, how do you know where you stand in the tournament? Go to summonershowdown.com to see the leaderboard, where you can see a daily tracking of progress of the top summoners and it updates every 24 hours. Now this part is absolutely crucial. If you're a top three player at the end of the week in your region, You'll receive an in-game message that directs you to a survey to gather your information. You'll have 24 hours to respond, or we'll have to move to the next qualifying summoner in line, so don't waste a second. If you get this message, it doesn't mean that you're automatically in the semifinals. You must meet the requirements to move on, such as age, where you're from, and if you're available to compete in later rounds. Once your information from the survey has been received, Kabam and Marvel will do the vetting and confirm which player moves on. This starts with the top scoring player and moving down the leaderboard from there. We'll be communicating which player moves on, so keep an eye on SummonerShowdown.com. With that, we wish you all good luck and we can't wait to see what kind of skill shows are in store for us. Keep an eye out for deep dives on the bosses in the weeks to come. So show up, showdown, can you take the crown? We'll see you in the battle realm.